Florence, my God! Joey. What are you doing here? I asked at the pub. They said you'd be here. Everybody, this is my sister, Florence. Hello, Florence! This is one of your parties. Well, one of AJ's, and he does love a party. That's Alfred Munnings. Yes, uh, this is, uh, Laura. Laura Knight, she's a very famous painter. Oh, yes, very famous. <laughs> this is her husband, Harold. How do you do? Lovely this is Dolly. Now, Dolly, she models for us painters. Oh, if they ask nicely. Hello. And this is my dearest friend, Captain Gilbert Evans. How do you do, Miss Carter Wood? What do you do, Captain Evans? Gilbert, please, come and get warm. Please, can I take your cloak? It's a film about, about lovers and, and how people perceive each other, really. Um, I think one of the big dangers of a film about art is, is showing too much paint on canvas. No one really cares about that, and that is, a, you know, it's a very subjective thing. And it's it's for the experts maybe, but um, but I think you're right. That can be that can be quite exclusive. But in terms of the way people approach their work, I think this could apply in any sphere. I don't think it's necessarily an artist, but you know, you have Munnings who dives in at the deep end, and then you have a Harold Knight character who's a sort of much more the sort of quintessential Englishman, a little bit more reserved, takes his time, and. You know, the uh, taking your time in, in, the, in the sphere of the love game uh, costs, you know, costs Gilbert his heart. What a wonderful walk. Let's do it again. I'd love to. Tomorrow morning, then. Uh, I'm, I'm meeting AJ for a lesson. Ah, lucky man. You're very loyal to him, aren't you? I like him. Whatever he does? His bark's worse than his bite. I arrived at my school and there was a teacher there who'd written this novel, Summer in February. And there was a lot of buzz about it then. He went on to direct me in a few school plays and all the way along he sort of joked that uh, if this ever got made into a film I'd make a great Gilbert. I didn't really know what that meant but I you know, sort of had it in the back of my mind and it was a very, very affecting book and the story stayed with me. And then when I left university and became an actor, uh, Jonathan Smith the, the writer and the teacher in question, introduced me to another guy who, who wanted to turn this into a film. And so we've been developing it for about seven or eight years. And it's just a, it's a beautiful love triangle, really. It's, it's got all the classic elements, and yet it's based on reality. And so there's this mysterious extra element that if you were to write it in a, in a conventional screenplay and if you were to make it up, people would say, well, that, that never happened. Years from now, they'll look at you and they'll know exactly what I was thinking. Florence, there's something I want to ask you. Yes. What earth are you doing mooning about out here? Come on. People were experimenting with a different way of living, not just, you know, no hot and cold running water. I mean, it was, it was actually sort of a, an experiment, um, an emotional, psychological one. Those kind of communities, those kind of colonies, which do still exist in certain forms all over the world, not necessarily for artists, but just as in sort of experimental living colonies, um, they are at once very attractive and can be quite terrifying, quite dangerous for a certain kind of person who is not necessarily very sure in themselves. Um, you know, doesn't have doesn't have their feet firmly planted on the ground. And I think Florence was one of these girls, and we don't know very much about Florence. It's a very mysterious character, both in the book historically. We don't know a huge amount about her. Not a, not many of her paintings survive. Um, but you know this. This community and, and the effects that it had clearly, you know, took its took its toll on her. Stay where you are. Don't move. Do not talk to me about what you have seen, and above all, do not talk to me about art and life. It's going to be impossible for anyone coming to the film not to think. Well, hang on, he's. He's playing a decent Edwardian fella, <laughs> manager of a country estate who's been scarred by wartime experiences and is unable to articulate his love for a willful but uh, not always wise woman. Do you recognise any similarities to a previous role in your past there? Yeah, it's, it's almost as if Julian Fellows had read, <laughs> had read the book himself. Um, no, this, I mean, this had been in development for about seven or eight years when, well, certainly it had been in development for about five years when Downton came along. And... Um, you know, Downton looked like a lot of fun and uh, you know, we had no idea that it was going to blow up the way it did. And the parallels are, are interesting, but actually in practical terms when it came to shooting the movie, we, were shoot we shot it back in January and February last year, Downton Series 3 started shooting in February last year, and the two projects actually dovetailed, so I had to go from playing Matthew Crawley to Gilbert. Um, unfortunately, uh, you know, the hair worked for both. <laughs> <laughs>